this next cunning plan could go a bit wrong result in Injury. e injuries yeah we're gonna make our way down to the port and we just pass and can Ellison goes shall we shall we rent some electric scooters Good morning and uh, welcome morning. to Altea. Yes, indeed. So, we've never been here before. This is going to be a complete no. adventure for us. Mm. But on face value, as we've driven in, it looks lovely. Very pretty. We've got the sea just over here. Benidorm's off down that way somewhere. And then the old town over here looks lovely. And so it begins. <laughs> That's how you start starting the day for us, is it? Yes. Well, when you have a, a town on a hill like this, the only way is up, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. But I mean, look I'm... at it. <laughs> <laughs> I never actually realised how oh, tight it was on so much of a hill. I thought it was quite flat when I suggested coming here. Looking to play, being a play, she is on a roll. Which way now, pretty lady? Well, if we go that way, it goes down to a mirror door okay. over the side. But this looks like a little rose that goes up and round quite small and then a really tiny road between houses. So, so this, we're going to go this, this way. way. Okay, cool. Well, we can come back to the mirror door, can't we? Yeah. It's so narrow, it's actually not even on that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> look. Oh, this is lovely again. This is nice. This has got a, a bit of a feel of Chelva to it. Yeah. Oh, I don't realize we can actually see the port and sea from here. Yeah, that's how high there we are already. There the sea. So this is one of the mirror doors. I think there's about six. We've come up quite a bit already. That's where we're parked down there. Okay. Mm. Something tells me there might be a fiesta today. Oh yeah. We might have to uh, hop back a bit later once everyone's finished their deliveries. What do you reckon? Yeah. All right, which way do you want to go now? I want to see if the door to the church is open. Go for it. They do seem to have uh, uh, no entry line thing. It says entry over there. So oh. you go in and round rather than straight down the front. Okay. Can we go in? Doors open. Doors open. Well, that was another lovely church, but it had lost Alison. What she is doing is, uh, yeah. she's video calling and she's on a video call to her, her best friend in the UK, whose birthday it is today. So, Hang on, he's happy birthday, Celine, and uh, happy birthday, happy Celine. Birthday, Celine. <laughs> Thank you. Actually, 
actually down here works because that'll be to the antique arch old arch up to the old town I shall follow you This is the antique arch. Yeah. It looks it's the old way into the village. Yeah, it looks quite heavily restored. What's it like from I the other side? Have you so. been? No. I stopped halfway. It does look like they've done quite a bit of uh, restoration on it. Yeah. What was this? Oh, uh, look. Look at that street from there. Oh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Oh, that's just stunning. That's beautiful, isn't it? This is lovely. I do love the houses here. We made it to another mirror door. Well, do we keep saying mirror door, don't we? I viewpoint. Think, viewpoint. There viewpoint. You go. I was going to say, I can't think what it is either. Mirador is the Spanish for viewpoint. Give you an idea where we are. So, if you saw our video from Galpe when we climbed up the uh, Pinon Effect, that's that lump over there that we climbed to the top of. And then, I don't know if you can see it. If I, yeah, you can yeah. just make out the tall buildings. Over in the far distance is Benador. Well, this road looks like it could be fun if you're on a push bike anyway. Yeah. That's very steep. Or a scooter. Hold on, I can actually see the roof of a car just down here. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Someone's actually driven a car up it. Mm. When we came in the car this morning and we went past all those streets that went up, that yeah. were just steps. That's one of them. And then the next three or four will be the same. Yeah. I'm not so sure I'd want to try and drive a car up there. If anybody knows my driving. <laughs> Your driving's not Did a you bad just laugh? Parking. Just out loud, yeah? I'm, I'm, my brain mouth filter isn't always great and I'm often as shocked by what comes out of my mouth as you are. But your, your driving's better than your parking. Your driving's not that bad. My parking is bloody Thanks. atrocious. I love that they've taken the eaves off this house and put a glass balcony. <laughs> yeah. Created a, a sun terrace. Chopping yeah. bit of your roof off, stick a glass barrier around and you're done. Looks like it's shallow the other end so they've got a really good view of the sea. Yeah, I bet. Good idea, people. Yeah. Good idea. Not so sure I'd want to do it to my own house. Yeah. But we're walking past all of the ends of these streets, and I think what it is, we're contemplating do we go down it or do we not, in case we then have to walk all the way back up again. Sorry, we are going to have to walk up if we go down, but you okay. can't really not, can you? Okay, which one are we going down? Well, there's tape. we got one there. On that one, we'll go down this one. Okay. okay. To be fair, there was a car on that. Follow my tour guide. <laughs> if I show you how far I've got down this slope, we've, we've come from just around that corner there and we're heading off down here. And lesson learned already, don't walk on the concrete. I've got grippy shoes on and I nearly just landed on my backside. We'll use the stairs, yeah? <laughs> I love you, but you're so clumsy. <laughs> yeah. Come on. 
That was a bit steep. Hey. Oh, do you know what? As it's in the, in the shade, gonna take a minute. Yeah. Oh, have a drink. Take this backpack off for five. Take it off then. All right, so we're back on our feet. Um, we, we're looking for what? Uh, Antique cistern, or old cistern. Right, an antique cistern. cistern. <laughs> but we do seem to it's be going round down, and round in circles. Yeah, it's down the, the sassy house. We're back here again, by that house we spoke about earlier, that cut their roof off. Here it is. Who? Oh. This used to be an old mill. Yeah. And this is the water cistern bit. Okay. Now we've... Lots of glass stuff. Well, that's quite good because it makes it open for you to see, but, but it's still protected. It. Us humans can't do it any more damage. Yeah. They're water jets. Altea. Feel free, switch them on. Yeah, right now. Yeah. Come on. Hey, Bobby. Which way now? That way. That way. There's people in the sea. Oh. Ah, this is that side road. We were sat on those stairs at the end there, weren't we? Yes, there's that church, isn't it? Oh, this is so beautiful. Do you know what I do love? They've got a lot of these little, little restaurants just kind of tucked in corners and stuff. Yeah. This is so beautiful. Yeah. Look at it. Look at the mural on the wall. Oh, yeah. So that's That'll be going on Instagram later. <laughs> That's the second arch through what was originally the bastion. Oh, so it's a lot bigger than I thought. Mm -hmm. well, you can Although still that's see the down shape there, it, isn't it? Where the, where the first the, one was. Where the you can first still see the shape is. of it, actually on the map. On the maps. I love this. Well, it's just a doorway with clothes hanging in it. There's no signage, no name, no nothing, but it's clearly a clothes shop, like a little boutique. Yeah. It might be a back entrance because I can see another door, but how cool is that? <laughs> Very cool. So Alison wow. asked if we could pop into this, or that little shop we saw outside. Yeah. And we've been shocked because we've found this thing in here. It's an old bread oven. Yeah. Because the lady said that they didn't have bread ovens in their own houses in the village. So this was the communal bread oven. A bit like Petrius has the communal um, pottery kilns that yeah. we had. This was the bread oven. That's amazing. Oh, that breeze. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. That was unexpected and. And there's the sign that obviously yeah. was just on a, the other side. A straight through, yeah. but it makes sense now. Yeah, the old bakery. The old bakery. When we look at the list of the most beautiful places in our region, one place that always comes up is Bokarent. But this one always seems to be right up there. Yeah. Like there first there one or two. Right. Even in the, the the national top ten most beautiful towns in Spain. So one always seems to be on it and I'm starting to understand why. Yeah. And all we've done so far is show you the old part. Hmm. Should we go and see the new part now? Yeah. Is there a new part? Well yeah. Beach kind of. part. There's definitely a beach, beach part. part. Let's go and see the beach part. When we 
started making our way to the, the beach, we were, what, 150 metres away? And somehow we have got ourselves a little bit lost again. There's that way. I think that heads back to near where our car's parked, but I think the beach is over that way somewhere. I think the theory is if we keep going downhill, yeah. eventually we'll hit the sea. Possibly, literally. <laughs> Yay! This oh, is promising. That water is screaming my name. There's the sea. We found it. Apparently then, I'll tell you, it's a shingle beach. Yeah, mostly. I didn't know that. Yeah, it is mostly. I, I can't remember where we were, bit, but, but I remember saying at another beach that I was shocked it was shingly. Because obviously this whole region is famous for its white sand. I can't remember. No, I can't. I've slept since then. Yeah. Several times. No. So I'm going to make the same comment I made a couple of weeks ago in Cuyera. I expected more people. Yeah. And I've got to say something. If you're looking for a, a seaside resort with a bit of everything, got the beautiful old town, beach looks lovely. I mean, the water is crystal clear there's restaurants all down the seafront here but it doesn't seem to have that what's the word i'm looking oversaturated. for oversaturated oversaturated that's a good word oversaturated feel of other locations like benedict this is lovely We've yeah. come a bit further down the coast this direction. We're going to head down towards the port after we've finished here. We're actually come down here to try and find a bite to eat. But this is... I mean, this is very well This is like presented. Teletubby World. Yeah, this Teletubby World. I'm really quite impressed with this. Yeah. A little noughts and crosses as well. Where's that? In the centre. Oh, in the kids' little play area. Hmm. I doubt that's going to come out on camera, but kind of here-ish. So this next cunning plan could go a bit wrong. Result in injuries. injuries. Yeah, we're going to make our way down to the port, and we just pass on, and Allison goes, "Shall we? Shall we rent some electric scooters?" We're going to have to get used to eing it e when, it, we, uh, yeah. when we get on the road because so, we're going to have e-bikes. We're going to give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. It's quite a long way to the port. Yeah. It's really hot. I'm really knackered. <clears throat> That's yeah. quicker. Right. So we've got the app and I presume we just uh, scan a bike. Okay, so we're kind of set up now. I don't know how this is going to work out, but you ready? Yeah, and you go first. don't do as I do, do as I say, or we say, we should be wearing helmets, but there aren't any to rent. Correct. So. Go, you oh, go. Oh Lord. Go on. Push it in, give it a bit of welly. Oh. <laughs> So we, have we? Yeah, look. Oh yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Right, I'm going to put the camera down for this bit. I'm yeah. not going to record this. How, you, how are you getting idea. on with it? Oh, yeah. I'm a bit all over the place. Yeah, me I'm too. definitely not used to this yet. And I, Switch I, the camera off for now and we'll get down to the port. Hey, so lesson number two. We thought the account charged us as we used it. Um, apparently you have to type up like prepay. So all of a sudden they just stopped working. We've had to add 10 euros, is it? You've added? Yeah. Yeah, so we've both added 10 euros. Apparently it's cost us two euros to get here. We'll see, this sounds quite expensive, we're traveling. 
Hi oh, gorgeous, what do you my, think? My balance is actually a little bit better than I thought. It's, I'm not so good like this one-handed, well, but... Well, no, because that's not sensible anyway, is it? But this is definitely the quickest way to get along the beach run. Isn't it just? This is quite awesome. These might have to be an investment in these. What do you reckon? E-scooters instead of e-bikes? This is so much easier. <laughs> Roll on the e-bikes. Yeah, I'm I was just saying down there. These are quite good fun though. They are very good fun. I'm almost tempted to say scrap the e-bikes, get two of these. these instead. So much easier, and a lot more fun. <laughs> We've parked them up. Proof, we left them back where we found them. Eight euro sixty for, what are you paying for, is that 20 minutes, half hour? 20 minutes I'd say. Yeah, down to the port and back. Really good fun. Not the cheapest things to mend. No. I'm I am tempted to stay scrap the e-bikes and get to those. No, 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 no. Apparently, no, no, no. We definitely have to have it. Yeah, to be fair. Yeah, my my uh, balance isn't that great, <laughs> and I'd rather be on a main road on a bike than a scooter. Yeah, true. Right, have a drink. Head back to the car now. Yeah. And I think we're going to move locations. There's a couple of things we want to try and find yeah. and hopefully finish the day off with some water to jump in. We come just to the outskirts of Altea now and uh, we come to have a look at, well, this. What, it, what? What is this? It's a Russian Orthodox church. A Russian Orthodox church. Apparently we need to go in the shop and pay two euros. Very trusting given that. It was two euros cash on it, but we said we ain't got cash, so it says you can pay by card in the shop. So apparently this thing is, well as you can probably see, completely constructed with wood all the way around the outside. Lady didn't know what the roof was made of. I got panicky for a second because I asked if that was gold, um, and she said yes. And I just saw lots of money out there, and she would pay, oh no, 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 it's just gold coloured metal. We're gonna have a quick look inside. We don't know if we're actually allowed to record in there. We'll see. Oh, no. Okay, that's a lot of gold stuff. <laughs> okay. And by the way, we spoke to the lady in the shop and yes, we are permitted to record in here. But apparently not when there's a service going on, which I kind of get. place is really ornate. I've only got these incredible looking horses over here. I think they're also made of wood aren't they? Oh and the big statue of him, whoever he is. Well, that was 
something very different. Very much so, but very spectacular. Yeah. Well worth a visit, just on the outskirts of Altea. Two to euros per adult yeah. to get in. To be fair, the whole day's been lovely. I'm thoroughly impressed with Altea if you're yes. looking for a, a really lovely holiday place or holiday resort. I, I would actually recommend Altea. Yeah, I would. It's lovely. Yeah. But look, with that said, guys, once again, that's it for another week. Mm. Thanks for watching and... Uh, Thank you for joining us. Yeah, we'll see you next we'll Sunday. See you next Sunday. Bye Take for now. Take care. Bye.